Hi, my name is Alison from FX Scouts. So in this video, I'm going to be chatting about how it's possible to trade when you've got a full-time job. Many traders battle with this when they first start trading. They've often got a full-time job. And this is important because you need to learn the ins and outs of trading. And of course, you need to be able to fund your trading account. So for me in the beginning, it was very difficult to find time to learn how to trade. I found the time investment was massive and I often spent many hours learning to trade before, during and after work. And then when I opened my demo account, I found it just as difficult because then I had to try and find time to trade on the strategies I discovered. And I found it was almost impossible. So I started trading on the one and the five minute time frames because I thought the shorter time frames would give me time to find the setups. But the problem was every time I opened the demo account on these time frames, I kept on making mistakes and then I would start over trading. And because I was trading on such short time frames, I would also be very highly leveraged. And when you're very highly leveraged, of course, you have to then monitor your trades. So I thought it was almost impossible to trade with a full-time job until I discovered that many other traders had battled with the same thing. And of course, then I learned some strategies and techniques from them. So I'm going to give you a few of my own strategies and techniques that I've learned along the way. So in the beginning, you need to really understand your working hours and how it affects the times that you can trade. And the first thing you need to ask yourself is during which trading sessions are you at work? Are you at work during the New York or London sessions? Are there overlaps between these sessions? Do you get breaks during your working day? And do you have time to trade before or after work? Once you've figured out how much time you have to trade and what trading sessions are open during the day when you're at work, then you can start to figure out which assets you can trade and which trading strategies you want to employ. So the Forex market is open 24-5, which means it's open all day, every day during the business week. Then if you look at the crypto market, the crypto market is open 24-7 which means that you can actually trade cryptos over the weekend, which is quite a big bonus. However, as we know, cryptos have very little fundamentals behind them. So unlike fiat currencies, there aren't big market drivers. And so crypto traders are very vulnerable to market sentiment, particularly. And they are also very vulnerable to huge volatility in the crypto market. And we always advise that traders take huge precaution when trading cryptocurrencies. If you look at stocks and ETFs, these markets have the shortest trading hours. So in the New York session, they are only open from 9 till 4 p.m. And because traders will mainly be at work when these sessions are open, they are likely miss these trading sessions. You might have to look at trading other assets until you find yourself in a position to be able to trade full time. Next, you'll have to look at the amount of time you have to trade in the day. So if you can only look at your charts once or twice a day, then we'd suggest ditching the one and five minute time frames. And this is because, as I mentioned earlier, if you're going to be trading the one and five minute time frames, you're going to have to keep your charts open and you're going to have to check on them regularly. And this is because most traders who trade these time frames are scalpers and they are often very highly leveraged trades. So it is important to trade longer time frames so that you don't have to monitor them as much during the day. And what we have found is that many traders are very happy to become swing traders. Sometimes swing traders will open and close trades within the trading day, but for the most part, they'll often keep their positions open for a few days at a time. And the goal of swing trading is to capture the overall trend while avoiding the noise and short-term volatility in the market. So swing traders often use technical analysis to identify trading opportunities and they use tools such as trend lines, moving averages and chart patterns to determine the market's direction. And once they've identified a trading opportunity, they use stop loss orders to manage their risk and protect their capital. And they also apply take profits to ensure that they don't miss the profits they could earn. So in our opinion, especially for somebody who cannot trade full time, swing trading is probably the best option. It allows you to manage and open your trades early in the morning to create your stop loss and take profit levels and then to just monitor your trades during the day on and off without having to be glued to your charts all day. Another very useful tool in your traders kit is to use pending orders. So pending orders are not implemented immediately. They are orders that you set up ahead of time. And if we look at this example here, this is the gold dollar four hour chart. So if gold is trading at 1825.2, I could place a buy stop order at 1830 
as you can see here, and a sell stop at 1820. And in this case, if gold rises to 1830, a buy order will be initiated, but if it drops to 1820, a sell order will be initiated. And in line with this point, another way to automate your trading is to use robots or trading bots. And on MT4 and MT5, they're known as expert advisors. And on CTrader, for example, they're known as CBots. And you basically set all your parameters, including when to enter or exit the trades, where to set your stop losses and take profits, and what technical analysis tools should be used when choosing how to enter or exit the trade. And they can also be very useful for taking the stress and the fear factor out of your trading. So we also recommend using trading robots when you can to help just automate your trading. And lastly, and most importantly, you wanna find a trading strategy that suits your lifestyle and your trading schedule. So identify the best times to monitor the market and execute trades, focus on quality trades that have a high probability of success, Avoid overtrading, which can lead to unnecessary losses, and use stop loss orders and take profits to manage your risk and protect your capital. Balancing full time work and a trading career requires a lot of dedication, a lot of planning, and it requires having a good trading strategy. By following these tips, traders can achieve success in their forex trading while balancing a full time job. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please send them through to us. Our website is fxscouts.com. And if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below.